Good evening, everyone. He has a reputation as a staunch social conservative, but Idaho Senator Mike Crapo was busted for drunk driving. It happened over the weekend outside of Washington, D.C. And Mike Vogel joins us tonight with our big story. Well, Roland, it's the first time that the Idaho Center has been in trouble with the law ever. As most people know, the senator is Mormon, so it comes as a surprise that he was arrested for DUI since members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints don't drink at all. United States Senator Michael Dean Crapo is apologizing today for getting arrested over the weekend for driving while intoxicated. It happened Sunday morning at 1245 in Alexandria, Virginia. Noticed a vehicle uh, run through a red light, uh, disregard the traffic signal. The officer pulled Senator Crapo over for running a red light, but quickly knew something was wrong. He uh, noticed uh, that uh, a smell of alcoholic beverage on uh, the center and asked him to step out of the vehicle and do some field sobriety tests, at which time the senator cooperated. Not just once, but twice, Senator Crapo failed. But unfortunately, uh, failed those sobriety tests. And uh, at that time, he was placed uh, under arrest by the officer for uh, driving under the influence. He was arrested and taken to a detention center and had to take a breathalyzer. Where he actually um, blew on the breathalyzer exam a .110. Um, and in Virginia, .08 is the legal limit. The senator did release a statement today and says, quote, I am deeply sorry for the actions that resulted in the circumstance. I made a mistake for which I apologize to my family, my Idaho constituents, and any others who have put their trust in me. I accept total responsibility and will deal with whatever penalty comes my way in this matter. I will also undertake measures to ensure that the circumstance is never repeated. Police in Alexandria say Senator Crapo was alone in the car when he was pulled over. He was released after posting bond and he's due in court again January 4th. In studio, Mike Vogel, today's Six on Your Side.